cents per pound. Oliver Slope is in Chicago there where the trading floor is uh, doing all of this action and he of course is with Blue Line Futures. So what's going on here with the grain market sliding and sliding and sliding away today? A lot of activity going on this morning. Unfortunately, it's not to the, the, the favorable side of things, which we were hoping for rounding out the, the quarter in the month. Last June, it was the worst June for grains that we saw in uh, six years. So we we're hoping that we'd kind of get uh, a change of tide, but we haven't gotten that yet here to start the month of July. Hopefully we can get some traction after the uh, July 4th holiday when maybe we get more participation um, coming into the markets. But really coming into some key technical levels at uh, December contract, obviously the June 19th low of three sec uh, 360 is gonna be very significant on a closing basis. We're just a stone's throw away, so I wouldn't be surprised to see the market kind of trip stops below there and see what working orders are down there. If the market can't accelerate through 360 and close below that, potentially we form a little bit of a double bottom and can start to build a base. Remember, the bottom is a process, not necessarily a point. So we're going to want to see the market probably test below that and then stabilize going forward. As far as what the funds are doing, last week uh, they sold about 33,000 contracts. So they're net short now about 91,000 contracts. This is a big change over the past couple of months. So it's going to be very interesting to see how aggressive they want to get to the shorts side at this time of year. Weather's been favorable uh, for most areas. There's been some excessive moisture um, in some isolated areas, but for the most part, things are looking pretty good, and we expect to see that confirmed in this afternoon's crop progress report. Okay, yep. All eyes will be on that for sure, and that will come out at uh, 3 p.m. Central Time today. We'll have all the numbers tomorrow, of course.